Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I'm Abby, I'm from Audacious Church in Chester and today we're going to continue looking at relationships, looking at the story of Ruth and Naomi and sacrifice and blessing. In this story, the two women, Ruth and her mother-in-law Naomi, have been widowed, their husbands have died and Ruth has a decision to make. She could go back to where she came from and start a new life and meet a new husband and live a prosperous life or she could stay with Naomi, recognising that she's been, recognising that Naomi has been placed in her life on purpose by God, and how she can be a blessing to her. And Naomi almost disqualifies Ruth, uh, disqualifies herself from having this relationship with Ruth, now that their husbands have died. And she says, in Ruth 1.11, says, Turn back, my daughters, why will you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that may become your husbands? Turn back and go your way. Naomi said that, hey, my circumstances mean the fact that I'm too old and my husbands have died. My husband's died and I'm, you know, I'm not going to be able to have children again. And um, her circumstances have meant that she can't have a relationship with Ruth. But Ruth has a godly perspective and has seen beyond Naomi's circumstances and has seen that she can be a blessing to her. And Ruth says to Naomi in verse, um, in chapter one, verse 16, for where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people shall be my people and your God will be my God. Ruth is willing to make a sacrifice, to pay whatever the cost is in order to bless Naomi, to be with her, to be a friend, to be faithful to her. She's followed God's leading, God's direction, has acknowledged that he has placed Naomi in her life on purpose and is sticking with it. Who in your life has God placed that you can be a faithful friend to? And where maybe are you withholding um, blessing? Um, where, where are you withholding something that will be a blessing? Where are you maybe not sacrificing where God is prompting you and pressing you um, to do that? In Genesis 12, he make, uh, the Lord makes a promise to Abraham and said, I'll make you into a great nation. I'll bless those who bless you and you will be a blessing. God is saying when you bless people, he will bless you. God, God isn't withholding blessing. He isn't keeping anything back, but he wants to pour out blessing as we bless others. And we see this in the story of Ruth. Ruth's made a decision to be obedient to um, God's leading and stick with Naomi. And not only has she found um, great friendship with Naomi, but she's found um, even more blessing and in, in her obedience to God she meets Boaz. Boaz sees Ruth in the field, sees her gleaning from the field and um, he becomes her kinsman redeemer and Boaz says to Ruth and he kind of prophesies over her life that the Lord will repay you for what you have done and a full reward will be given to you. The God of Israel under whose, ring, whose wings you have come to take refuge. That's in Ruth chapter 2 verse 12. Boaz has said, hey, because you have been a blessing, you will be blessed. Where today, Audacious Church, can you be a blessing? Where are you willing to make a sacrifice in order to bless someone else? Because the reality is, is God has released authority onto your life to strengthen his kingdom by deepening relationships, by being vulnerable, by making decisions that will um, that require sacrifice, that have a cost, but that have blessing on the other side, because you can be a blessing to the people in your life. You can be that faithful friend. You can be someone who will encourage, who will equip, who will convict, who will speak life into other people. Where today can you be a blessing? Church, I'm praying for you as you make um, these steps of obedience and as you faithfully follow God's leading in being a blessing to his people. Have a great day.